Welcome to scenic southern Spain. We are in the mountainous area of Alicante on the Costa Blanca to visit Aeromax, a wireless ISP with big plans to deliver fixed 5G wireless fiber over the air. Dealing with the common topographical, deployment, and tower space restrictions, Aeromax overcomes them in a very unique way to deliver over 200 meg to their customers. Hello, I'm Stefan Bergman. I'm CEO of Aramax, one of the largest independent wireless internet service providers in Spain. We are located in Alicante, Previente, and we're running a more than 10,000 square kilometers wireless internet service network. On our fully redundant network, we are actually running at this moment 120 towers with nearly 1,000 access points. In this way, we're reaching up to more than 10,000 customers. To our residential and business customers, we are offering broadband internet services starting at 36 megabits. And with our new fiber optic services over the air, we can reach up to 25, 50, 100, 150 and up to 250 megabits real speed up to the customer's house. For our services, we are using ubiquity stuff, of course, and also WiMAX gear from Alventa Systems, which is a Spanish WiMAX manufacturer. And a few months ago, we signed a contract with Mimosa, the leading 5G fixed wireless manufacturer, to deploy with their equipment our services of air fiber to the houses of our customers. In combination with these three manufacturers, we use Earth Element symmetrical horns, which give us the freedom and the liberty to deploy all the services we want to bring to our customers. The first time we heard about horns have been by an email received by Landatel, our local provider for antenna stuff. And I thought, new design, let's try it. Uh, the very first beginning I wasn't uh, very convinced about it because you see the text, that, uh, the technical description, see 13 dBi's, 16 dBi's, that's even less than I have with my ubiquity panels. But you give it a try and you go to certain areas, make comparison between what you have already set up with the, with the panels and what you later will or could get with the horns and you see there's no much difference um, also, you see, of course, that the signal is, is less, what you're receiving with the horns. But when you later compare with the signal and the quality of service, the quality of service is, is racing and giving you more stability than the signal seems to be. So at the end, the horns is a, are a very good solution to set up with less space, the same or even more than you could with panels. We have a lot of crowded towers where we don't have even much more space left to set up one more single sector. So, or we change to horns and we will win because most of these towers are on top of mountains where we also have to get a better down tilt angle, what we cannot achieve with panels, of course. Or we do not have the possibility to upgrade the towers and get more customers on it. The main difference between panels and horns is that in a flat area you can use a panel perfectly because you don't need so much opening angle in vertical polarization. But of course, if you are mounting on top of a mountain and you need to see mid or long range and also even the very short range of the houses which are at a slope, of course then you take a horn. Horn is therefore the best solution you can ever find. Think about the panel to tilt it down 15 or 20 degrees. First of all, you cannot do so because the support doesn't allow it. And later you would make a huge work with all your poles and whatever and fixings to do so. So take a horn, just tilt it down at the maximum and you're fit. When you think about replacing existing panels on a tower by the horns of RF elements, of course, you think, why should I do so or why do I need so? First of all, place. Place on tower is very expensive and sometimes the towers are full up to the top or even the owner doesn't let you set up anymore if you don't make space by yourself. So, get down panels, set up horns. So in the same place where you formerly had one panel, now you have more horns oriented into different areas, no side lobes, straightforward directional emission. But you also have better possibilities to illuminate all the mountains when you're on top of the mountains 
and the slope where also the first houses are, what you cannot get with the panels. So you're winning in at least three steps. First, you win space, two, you win QoS, and three, you win more versatility and in illuminating what you have to illuminate. So at the end of the day, what we are trying to do at Aeromax, of course, is to upgrade our existing network, to expand to areas where we are not in yet. But the main thing is to stabilize all the network, although it's very stable because of our broadband backbone we already have expanded, bringing in more redundancy, more towers in areas we already are, to give more service to more customers, as in the day by day, we're getting bigger and bigger. Within our expansion plans, of course, Mimosa is one of the biggest manufacturers of real fat broadband, gives us a gear which is unbelievable. And I'm not saying it because they're paying for me for that, no. We tried it and I, cannot, I couldn't believe that it will give me, at a five kilometers distance, a real 100 meg over the air. And this is something you never saw and you, I think you never will see on another gear. It's very important to also optimize our existing towers. So also a big work we will have to do in the next few months and years is to change what we have to change, to bring down old gear, old stuff, old panels and bring up new things. Aeromax will go on growing. We will do great things with great manufacturers and one of these great manufacturers, of course, is RF Elements. Thank you. The CC horn as it is, with the red S, it's absolutely perfect. And you see it on a tower and you see that's mine. I already said that it's raining. Yes, it's raining in Spain. Forget about all you know about Spain. Spain is different. It's raining in Spain. We'll leave the horns red. So once upon a time, I baked up horny and thought, horns? <laughs> no. Slovakia. Cut. <laughs>